Hello, I'm just recording this to um, show off something I've made uh, that I just feel like, you know, deserves to be seen. That's all it is to it. I've been playing Shapes.io for a while now and, uh, well, again, like I said, I'd like to show you what I've made here. Um, level 821 currently I'm up to. Uh, essentially what I've made is what's known as a, a build anything machine or a make anything machine. Um, but there's a lot to it and well there is a lot lot to it and yeah I'd like to show it off so without further ado I'm gonna um, show off some stuff here all right so I mean on the at the uh, home end uh, how, does, how does this work we've got the item that needs to be delivered uh, well in this case this item right here as you can see um, I'm actually producing all of the upgrades as well as the blueprint materials that are needed um, to continue to gain upgrades. I'm going to come back to those later, but essentially those upgrades are being developed, you know, off here and over here and yeah, down here and a lot down here. I'm producing upgrades such that um, I've got six lines of this purple one. Six lines of this one, three lines of this guy here, and three lines of this. And that ratio seems to be about right as far as what I need for my upgrades. That, um, that sort of, uh, I need twice as many of these guys as these other ones. So that's basically what's going on. Um, right, how does this work? Well, 200 per second. You, I cannot, my machine cannot make 200 per second. So... Uh, jumping out of here, one of the first things that happens here is we've we collect them, and there are literally like what are they? What do we call these things? I forget what you call them. Doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Each of them having two outputs gives me sixteen outputs on these, and those sixteen outputs will feed into all sixteen inputs on these, um, which leads to the most uh, well. I'll demo, demo this first. Um, it's going to be interesting. What's going to happen is these uh, these uh, outputs will join onto these existing lines where the um, where the upgrade shapes are coming in on. Uh, but my build anything machine is clever enough to um, once these are getting dumped to stop the upgrades at filters back here, filters back here, and filters down here. The upgrades get blocked as these get dumped so that I can gain my 200 per second. And um, also, further down, I don't like wasting um, time, so uh, these buckets continue to uh, store uh, the excess or uh, as they get blocked, you know, I still want to be able to create these upgrades so they get stored here. As they can see here, uh, they're getting stored because they're, here we go. This is being dumped now, so this is all being dumped at some ridiculous amount. Well, there's you can see here the 20 per second on each line times by 16. That kills the 200 per second threshold here. Absolutely kills it. And as you can see, what happens here is as soon as these are uh, at zero again, you'll see my upgrades come straight back automatically. Upgrades straight in again. The upgrades also have, uh, because they've been collecting quite a lot here in the meantime, they have extra excess lines which uh, fill, uh, come bring back on a few extra lines the excess because we gotta we gotta you know we gotta clear out all these bins. There's a lot of bins here that have got some excess now on them. All right. Anyway, all right. So what's going on here? How do we get this out? Well, uh, wires. I forget how you swap to layers. Is it E wires? 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 Out come the the pattern. And through a series of uh, knots and gates and all sorts, uh, we want this shape. Well, they're already being, as you can see, they're already being built. It comes really quickly. The new ones are coming already. Um, so what's going on here? Um, yeah, well, it's taking this shape, which it's displaying here as well. And as we come this way, it's finding the pieces it needs and pulling off each piece. So this piece and that piece are required be joined together to create the final product and as we come across uh, basically there's, well there's two lots of everything so this thing here 
I'm creating that once here, twice here. This uh, other thing is feeding through uh, and is creating this piece to join here and the same piece again back here. So basically what I've got is I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creators because uh, there are four layers to every shape, four layers deep. So as you can see here, the outermost layer is just a simple circle. Next layer is a star. Getting deeper beyond that is a little bit difficult to see, but there are four layers and I create each layer twice. So that gives me a, basically I've created eight of these creator things. I'll show you each of those individually, but essentially they're all the same and they come in and combine one by one as going across, yeah, to create the actual finished product. Let's have a look at one of these. So, well, actually I think it's easier to show these from the top down, which leads me really to where all the fun happens, which is, well, where all the inputs happen. So every color, I'm dragging them in. Every shape, I know that just looks like, that's just crazy. But I don't know if you can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's right. Seven of each shape, seven conveyor belts of each shape. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven of each color coming in over here. So of course, off to this side is just extractors. Uh, some of these uh, objects are coming from a fair way away. For instance, well, as we know, windmills are really hard to get. So there's a big windmill farm over here to create windmills and to bring those windmills in up to the top. And of course, there's also, you know, the whites take a little bit of work to create. So anyways, as we come across, um, they enter all this. Well, what happens here? Essentially, um, my machine knows what color it needs. And so as these come along, there are these little, um, well, filters. And if the color is needed, it gets dropped down. Uh, this is actually the rejection side of this, uh, which is a bit weird. But basically, I've, I've configured it so that um, a reject is actually the one I want. And... The accept is when I don't want it and it passes through. Also, um, they don't just get clogged up because um, there's a flow rate going here. I allow these to keep coming through because of course they need to keep coming through to get potentially get picked up by this one and then the next one. So, you know, they, there's always a bypass. Here you can see this blue one is actually being picked up. So it comes down, gets joined by um, well, it's not really getting joined because, I mean, there's no what, greens being collected here. Or likewise, there's no reds being collected here. The problem is I just don't know which, which one is going to be collected. So it, 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 it joins in to the main conveyor belt line, which now comes down here. Oh, and as you can see, it looks like blue was no longer needed and now it's red that's needed. So there was a change of shapes that it just occurred. So, um, down they come. And because each, um... Uh, line, I'm creating two lots of each shape. Uh, this is just a, a chance to, um, well, evenly distribute those colors across both of those creators in case one is, uh, uh, extraction of one color is happening better for a particular, uh, one particular, you know, extractor than the other. So I just want to even out the, the distribution of uh, the inputs onto both creators. So. As it comes down, these are then spread out again to back to their respective creators. And here what you can see is, we are now taking the following. We are doing the following. We have extracted four separate shapes, four separate colors. And what do I do first? As you can see, these are the colors required. It's filtering those, and if they're not the right color, they get deleted. Um, it's also filtering the shapes, making sure I've got the right shapes, and deleting if they're not required and it's painting the entire shape. I paint the entire shape and then it comes down and well, it gets painted on several painters because one painter isn't enough. Uh, and then the painted shape gets filtered and deleted if it's wrong. The painted shape gets cut four ways 
and rotated such that this is the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And these are, in fact, the shapes, each corner that I want correctly cut. Now, this is incredibly, uh, this part here is incredibly, you know, I only need like two cutters because out of each shape that is colored, I get four out. In fact, this can barely keep up with the demand. These, these two cutters is even overkill in itself. Um, anyway, that comes back down and gets, again, filtered out based on what is required. And then we start merging. These two get merged here, these two here get merged, these two here get merged, and come down. And again, this shape is rotated and checked. Yes, it is this I want and this that I want, and if it's correct and not deleted, these get merged and come down. There's some um, there's some extra um, feedback up to the top again. That's kind of like just in case. Uh, um, I'm not sure really if it's necessary, but it's uh, just to yeah, just to recycle uh, th uh, uh, shapes that you know end up at the bottom here and they get sent back to the top to get recycled in case they uh, didn't meet a. Uh, that didn't meet a pair to get uh, merged with. Um, the other interesting thing here that ha that is a bit tricky was when items are not required to be painted at all. And so, um, as you can see, the unpainted items come down, 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 get pulled off to get painted. But, of course, if there is no paint coming down, they don't get painted, but they will keep coming down, 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 and just actually get spat out uh, into the filter and of course if it's the unpainted thing that's required um, well they come down unpainted it's perfect uh, then and there was another issue that was a little bit tricky and that is to say that if um, uh, a particular corner is not in the shape at all and so uh, there is an additional little filter I think here to check if there if it was a non shape required uh, and if it's a non-shape, uh, what is what am I trying to say? Yeah, if it's a non-shape, it, it it doesn't it doesn't get um, connected in. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and and the pieces can get passed through without getting combined. Yeah, that's really a bit tricky. Um, I think that's what one of these is for here, right here, just to suggest this is what happens uh, if. Uh, this is one of them. It's disconnected because uh, we need that piece. It's necessary. So anyway, uh, I think that's it. Uh, there. So as yeah, and then they come through and get combined again, like I showed you before. Uh, it's amazing. It truly is amazing. Um, there they go again. In the mean, in, while I've been doing this video, I've gone three levels up completely. Um, without my intervention whatsoever. It's just completely autonomous. And uh, so there is actually one part of this which uh, I haven't demoed, which is the timing of all of this. So when do these, how long do these stay for? Well, this little guy here is responsible for um, setting off the timing. Uh, as you can see, uh, everything is uh, here is evenly distributed among these, what is it, eight? bins but this little guy detects uh, and uh, it detects the uh, the first correct shape and I don't know if I can see that uh, it it will this little guy will send a message to uh, out this way I think and around about and somewhere else anyway out and around here and it's got to do a few checks it's really complicated but it actually comes down to here as soon as we get there boom done it uh, releases this little guy and this little red guy has to go around and around and around and around and around and around and around <laughs> for a long long time because if you can imagine this guy's gonna go through here first time he goes this way and then he gets let through but then he comes back and he's got to do this loop again before he gets let through the second one. And now he's got to repeat everything that he's repeated. And each time he gets to the next one, he's got to repeat everything that's been repeated. It really takes a long time. This is like 
factorial um, exponentially long for each of these that you add in. Uh, yeah, it, it gets it takes a long time. Also, I'm I'm in, I'm really impressed with this simple mechanism. Um, one the wire comes down and it lets one, this is, I can't remember which way it is, but one's blocking and one's letting it through and then it inverts and what ends up happening is only one uh, of these comes through, but actually <laughs> this, even though these are butted up against each other, there's room for two, I think, in here. And so what actually happens is the, uh, whether it's the first or the second, one gets deleted, or it might be three. I think three come through. And one gets deleted, and then one comes back through and gets deleted. And actually, the point is, this little weird little configuration, which took me a long time to figure out, um, only lets a single element through. Oh, it got all the way through, only to have to come all the way back again. Anyway, eventually, this little fella, so he's halfway through, by the way, because I saw him go all the way through there, so he's halfway, and then... He does it again and he'll come through here and this little detector here will detect that little red guy and uh, will, well, the red guy wouldn't get deleted but it will send a signal and it will send a signal, well, up here, I, I forget how this works, it's been a long time. I think it actually said that that's kind of not the important thing. I think the important thing is it sends a signal to this guy uh, to let the signal through here to, yes to let all of these go on. Um, learning about how to set these up is really, uh, really difficult uh, and almost deserves its own video. But essentially like, for instance, in this little case, I've got a one coming through here. That's to say, you know, we're ready. We're ready, to, as we're ready when you are essentially. And this guy goes, yes, I'm ready. And this little ore, it's weird. So this is a zero, this is a one, this is an and. So that's a zero coming out here, but this is an or. So as soon as this is on, this goes out and then feeds back into the and, which then makes both of these on, which feeds back into the or, which then maintains this on. So with a single little snap, this can, this will just be on, this will be a one for a fraction of a second and for that fraction of a second it'll let this through and then both of these will be on which then there it is boom and do you see this is now off still but for a second there it was on and now enables this to be permanently on allowing this to come through now uh, and, and keeping this signal on 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 and now what's what it's waiting for is for this to be off and it's off when all of these bins are empty or when as soon as these bins are all empty that turns off killing that process shutting down the uh well shutting down the uh, filters and i don't know if that makes sense it's really complicated some of that um logic gate stuff which essentially what which which turns some of these on and off as well these other ones and on and off yeah that's that's this 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 bit here i'm really proud of and uh, I think that just works amazingly. There is a bit of a menu. I've got some manual overrides here if things are not quite working the way they're supposed to. I think this button here, in case this doesn't actually trigger for whatever reason, I think this triggers one. I think if I can click and click it on and off. Uh, no, I think that actually that does something else. That lets some things through. No, I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> anyway, I, oh this one, this one, this one lets another one through. There it is. Which I really shouldn't do. But did you see them? See it come through? Three of them. Anyway, that's really going to uh, cause a bit of a problem, but it'll fix itself. Uh, all right, that's that's my little video showing you how um, Shapes IO works, uh, or at least my Shapes IO works. Level 825. The Cree, the Make Anything Machine. It is fantastic. I uh, hope you. Uh, well, found that maybe informative, and really I just created this for posterity so that uh, even years later, I can look back on this with fondness, even if I don't have the game anymore. All right, uh, don't know who's watching, probably just me in the future. Maybe no one will ever watch this. Cool, hope you enjoyed.